whenever I'm in the cold with friends or with clients when I'm guiding, um, you know, they do all the typical things for their hands that people do. They put them in their armpits and uh, they sometimes, you know, move them around. You see people at football games doing this. Um, you know, those things work and that's why people do them. But there is nothing like windmilling. And if you learn how to windmill, it will change your life. And even for people with Raynaud's disease or Raynaud's phenomena, where they have this a massive amount of distal vasoconstriction often in one or two extremities. If you windmill, you can overcome that vasoconstriction. So how do you windmill? You just take your arm and you literally just start windmilling. And you gotta get it really moving. So you get this centripetal force that's driving that blood out into your hands and you really can start to perfuse even profoundly vasoconstricted tissues. You know, you can windmill with your feet, but you're going to be doing this. Like, you see ice climbers hanging on a cliff trying to move their foot back and forth, and they're trying to drive some blood in, but it's not nearly as efficient as it is just really getting your hand going a million miles an hour to really drive that blood into your extremity using some tripetal force. So, if you start windmilling, it will really change your life in the outdoors. You can warm your hands up by windmilling.